the, the, the two reasons America failed, and then we've got to wrap up, unfortunately. Two reasons America failed. One is the First Amendment plus disestablishing religion plus um, guaranteeing freedom of religion. All very stupid ideas. And I realize that the first one of those sounds a bit wild coming from me, but they're all very stupid ideas. In combination, they're fatal. Uh, disestablishing religion, why? Just because, I mean, okay, fine, you don't want the king anymore, but why would you have to throw away the basis of Western civilization? Dumb. Uh, then you guarantee freedom of religion, even dumber, um, and then, and then you, you enshrine in your Bill of Rights the, uh, the, the right to bear false witness. Incredibly, extraordinary and, uh, extraordinarily and monumentally dumb. Uh, this is the reason America's failed politically. The reason America's failed spiritually is nihilistic individualism, in which everybody is encouraged to construct a personality. This is going to sound Marxist, but it's true. Uh, everyone is instructed to, con uh, everyone is encouraged to construct a personality through consumer choices. We, we, we piece together who we are by what we wear, what we eat, the music we listen to, the people we hang out with. Uh, and this is a, a very, very reckless, poor substitute for a life lived in the light of the Lord. This is a very poor substitute for a religious life. Uh, forging your own identity aside from what uh, God wants for you in consumption is about the most nihilistic and stupid thing you can do. Uh, so I, th I think it's a w way wider than a gay problem. Gays as the dumbest minority have embraced this really wholeheartedly and enthusiastically. Oh, they're the dumbest minority. Not just the dumbest, but the most credulous. They will believe anything. I mean, gay people believe anything, anything you tell them, anything you tell them. It's like, like, it's like small children, because they are locked at the age the trauma happened, you know? Um, like seven-year-old children, they'll believe literally anything. Uh, gays, gays, are, gays are the ultimate Americans, you know, the ultimate nihilistic consumers with no life purpose who, you know, they're, they're, they are what why America was designed for, you know, the ultimate purchaser, the ultimate shopper, the ultimate consumer, the ultimate self-abuser. Uh, so it's a much longer topic for another day for another talk um, but homosexuals I mean America is a gay country there is a reason that your government puts pride flags on every embassy no matter what the month is doesn't matter what the month is except you know those countries where they'll get bombed um, <laughs> the sensible countries the based countries uh, Russia the Middle East um, you know the place, place, places that still have some basic understanding of, uh, of a human condition um, there's a reason that your country puts gay pride flags up in embassies all over the world, no matter what month it is. This is a gay country espousing gay ideas, and nothing is gayer than the nihilistic self-indulgence of uh, late capitalistic consumerist culture. Um, and that's very much what homosexuals are locked into, and it's very much what your country has become, I'm sorry to say. Um, and, you know, we ended, we elected the Great White Hope and, and got a lazy fat coward. So. Uh, Unfortunately, I don't see that changing anytime soon, but there's good news. The next world is much better. Thank you very much. God bless you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.